Oh. I'm green. He's orange. Mm. 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 <laughs> Hello, I'm Jamie Shannon, and I make puppet stuff. This is my workshop on Toronto Island at Artscape Gibraltar Point. I've been doing this for 27 years. I made a short film about Gregory Rasputin and the Russian Revolution. I hate him so much! Whoops, Johnny, whoops, Johnny. I've heard of your great gifts. This short film just touches on a theme of how media, you can kind of read about the same person and the same situation and get completely opposite takes. And same with Rasputin. His whole life is kind of like, people are like, he was a saint. I know, I just exude manliness. Oh, a bunch of people are like, he was the evilest man in history. <laughs> Most of the books portray him as sort of evil. Funny enough, Rob Ford was my inspiration for Rasputin. Man. A Rasputin was very interesting and enigmatic to people, and they were just like, who is this guy? He's very photogenic, you know, a scary beard. Same with, you know, Rob Ford. He's just red face and just always you could see what he was thinking. He became infamous for, you know, his behavior and doing evil, or he must be doing great. No one really knew, but they just loved to talk about him. And there's so many characters in the news today that we love to talk about. I was like, there's so many Trump puppets out there. I was like, why don't I just do windblown Trump? I started with doing stuff for kids and even preschool, Nanaland. <laughs> so it's a show about curiosity. It was also improvised. We did live, just improvised to camera for three minutes. So it has this really loose feel, and I think that's why it's been this crazy popular thing. Oh, oh. Oh, hi there, sweet pea. <laughs> there's yes, I'm in the pot. Yeah, there's one flake. <laughs> well, <laughs> lunch is served, huh? <laughs> because of Nanolan, we created a show called Mr. Meaty. Mr. Meaty was kind of like a, a conceited teenager. That's I was talking like, uh, that's Josh right there. I do. <gasps> Where'd you get it? Yeah, dude. there's my oh, Dude, there's Leanne, there's Leanne. What oh. do I do, what do I do, what do I do? We'll just ask her out already. This guy. Hi there. I'm the puberty fairy from Mr. Meaty about 10 years ago. Hmm? What you think of that, huh? Big mouth. Here's my pirate hat. Because I get here by boat every day and I used to have a boat, so, you know. What else do we have here? Oh, here's something. Uh, here is, this is from Nanaland. This is like, uh, this is actually my Nana's house. And uh, I kind of recreated it hey, in a model. You're supposed to be talking about me. Or none of that little cutesy crap. Sorry. Sorry. Rasputin is an evolution to me being able to do like more adult themes, which I've always wanted to do. Puppets are classically political. They're kind of like clowns or jesters. They're the ones who can speak truth to the king. <laughs> Some talk. Hello, how are you? I can also tilt his head with this handy little this handy little contraption here. With a very steady hand, because just a little movement like that makes him go all over the place. But look, her eyes are just quite beautiful. They really have a lot of expression. The reason I'm telling this story with puppets is because because I'm making everybody about this big and buildings are only this tall, I'm able to recreate this extravagance. A big part of my fascination was the costumes they wore. There's all these pictures online of them in these outrageous costumes that seem like, basically they took costumes from the 1700s and uh, in modernized them. I look very handsome in that light. When you're working with puppets, you appear as the puppet does. You just need to be able to kind of like Give yourself over to the object, and then the object will imbue some kind of life. 
I'm going to heal you now. Okay, ready? Ha! Feel any better? 